Hello, this is Cordman. Uh, I have seen a few posts online about people having trouble flying the gyrocopter in seven days. And it really isn't as difficult as, um, uh, well, it isn't terribly difficult as long as you, you know, know what you're doing. And it takes practice for sure. Um, but I thought I'd put something out there to sort of show people, you know, how how best to, uh, to fly and land this. Um, so, uh, the first thing to know is that this is a gyrocopter and not a helicopter, and the big difference is that a gyrocopter can't hover. A, um, a helicopter can hover uh, because it has a, a tail rotor that counteracts the momentum of the main rotor, uh, but a gyrocopter doesn't have that, and so it requires forward momentum to maintain lift and not sort of spaz out of control, which is why it has a rudder. Um, but at any rate, that's the important thing is, is you need to understand that it needs to be traveling forward with the nose facing forward in order to maintain lift. Um, so uh, you can see I've, I've made myself a little runway on top of my, um, on top of my base here. Uh, it is not terribly long and you don't really need it to be long for this to work. Uh, so I'm going to hop in and I'm going to take off. Uh, I'm using keyboard controls. If you use something else, uh, you know, assume that the equivalent will also, you know, work the same way. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to gun it, give it lots of gas to take off, and then as soon as I'm in the air, I'm not going to use the, um, you know, shift key anymore to uh, sprint because, you know, that, that tends to kill your fuel pretty quickly. Um, but I'm going to gun it to the end of the runway here, and as soon as I'm off the edge, I'm going to tap shift, there. I'm sorry, space a couple times to uh, get the nose up in the air. Uh, the keyboard controls for a gyrocopter is space to lift the nose and C to dip the nose to, you know, go lower. Um, and that's going to be important later. Uh, the other controls are A and D to, by default, are A and D to rotate and uh, W and S are your gas and brake, respectively. Um, I think I hear a zombie, but I'm going to ignore it. Anyway, um, here we go. Going to take off. I'm holding the shift key and forward. And now I'm letting go of the shift key and tapping space. And we're in the air. We have a level flight. Now. When you're landing, it comes. In, it helps to come in at a steep, kind of a steep angle, and I'll explain that more later. So I'm going to get some altitude before I try to turn around and try and turn around and land. As you see, the tops of this mountain disappearing because I've been mining it. Um, as long as you maintain a level flight, it, it really is pretty difficult to crash. Um, you know, if you feel yourself starting to dip a little, tap the space bar. It'll bring your nose up. Now, uh, it's worth mentioning that although when you look left and right, the gyrocopter sort of leans left and right, that doesn't actually turn you. <laughs> It won't turn you at all. Um, if it does at all, it's barely noticeable. Sometimes it helps to look right if you're doing kind of a steep turn, but honestly, I really don't see that much of a difference. Um, I assume that what they're doing is just simulating like your guy's trying to look at the ground, and so the gyrocopter would uh, bank a little. And I am starting to lose altitude, so I'm going to gain a little before I try to land. That's my base right in front of us, uh, just past that one. I'm going to stop using throttle entirely. I'm just going to angle my nose down. That's going to maintain that forward momentum that we need to uh, to uh, maintain lift. I'm going to aim for the roof. All right. And I think we're doing all right. I'm going to angle up just a little bit. Now you can see I'm not using the throttle at all. And just as I get over the edge, I'm just going to 
pick that nose up. There we go. Light as a feather. So, um, I'll do that one more time so you can see it. I don't even need the full runway to take off. I'm just going to gun it to the edge. Tap the spacebar a couple times. Make sure my nose is in the air. Let go of the shift key. Or let go of sprint, I guess I should say. Get some altitude. I'm showing you this a second time just to you know, show you it wasn't a fluke. It is totally possible to do this every time. It is worth mentioning that I, I did um, I did try to record this a, a couple minutes ago and missed the runway a couple of times. If you come in at too shallow an angle, it's really easy to miss it, um, which is why I try to gain a little altitude and come in at a slightly steeper angle. Just makes it easier to you know hit the mark. And I definitely would recommend practicing on a longer runway because it will take some practice. up just a little. Gonna try to get some altitude. Alright, letting go of the throttle entirely. I'm gonna pitch the nose down to try to get to my roof. I may be a little high. I am very high, <laughs> but it's still possible. Say so you're in emergency. In, in an emergency. go. Simple as that. So, I recommend, you know, lots of practice. Uh, it does take some time to learn. And, um, you know, once you, uh, once you have, your f have it figured out, th it, so many opportunities open up. Like, uh, you know, buildings that you would normally have to fight through to get to the roof to get to the good stuff. Now you can just land on it. And, uh, you know, if you're not ready for Horde Night uh, and you don't want to the, the zombies attacking your building, land on top of an apartment and wait it out. And uh, you know, it 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 uh, you know, lots of lots of uh, there's lots of things you can do once you know how to properly fly one of these things. Anyway, I hope I helped a lot. Uh, leave a like if uh, if you enjoyed the video, and uh, have a good day. Bye.